Good morning. You've joined me today on a beautiful spring morning at the prolific Lindome Lakes. I'm sat on the bonsai and in this video, I want to talk to you about a particular method that I use throughout the whole of the year, which is the bomb. Let's talk about the setup that I'm using today. To me, it's the most important thing, using the correct length rod, the right action rod, the right reel, the right main line. There's lots of things that you have to consider to get the balance right, and that's really important. So let's talk about the rod first of all. I'm using the Shimano Speedmaster Commercial AX. It's a 911, it's a two-piece rod, but because I'm only fishing 20 meters out, I'm using it in a nine-foot length. I love this rod simply because it's so forgiving and soft. And when you're targeting all sizes of fish on commercials, from small F1 skimmers, average size carp, average size match carp, to even big carp over 10 pound, this rod's absolutely perfect for all those species and all, all those sizes as well. The reel I'm using is the Shimano Stradic CI4 4000. Now, I regard it as the best match reel I've ever used, simply because it ticks all the boxes I look for in a match reel. It's got an ultra smooth drag, and the new Hagani reels don't have an anti-reverse, so I rely upon purely the drag to play my fish. That's really important. It's got a really silky smooth action on the drag that almost acts like an elastic on the pole. Any fighting movement from the fish, reacts instantly with a drag to the point where that's why we eradicated the anti-reverse system simply because the drag reacts quicker which means you're going to catch more fish you're going to pull out of less fish and it also means you can get away with lighter tackle as well that's really important the line i'm using main line is shimano x age 020 it's a really nice line it's a robust strong knot strength and it's a very quick sinking line. And that's really important when you're bomb fishing, especially on venues like this at Lindome, where we've often got, it's often called Windome. It's a very, very windy venue. So when I've cast it out, whether it's a waggler or a bomb, I want to ensure that my line's sinking as quickly as possible to minimize movement on my hook bait. Down to a 10 gram Olivet. It's a tungsten Olivet, free running to a braid stop. And then I'm using Shimano Aspire Silk Shot 014 to a size 18 hook. Right, let's talk about the bait that I'm using today. I want to keep things as simple as possible. During the winter and the spring months, I have complete confidence in sweet corn, simply because every fish loves it. And that helps me understand what fish are actually feeding on the day. As I stated, I'm on the bonsai today. There's everything here, but I want to target the F1s and the carp. So I'm using Dynamite XL corn. The reason why I'm using this particular corn, it's very uniform in shape. It's perfect for hair rigging, but it's also very good for feeding via a catapult. Uniform sizes means I'm reasonably accurate with a catapult and I can accurately feed where my bomb's landing and where I want that bait to go. Along with the Dynamite XL sweet corn, I'm using Dynamite XL Liquid Scopex. The main reason why I use it, when you add it to baits like the corn, it really does enhance the color of the bait. And that's really important, A, when the water's clear, but also when the water's colored, that makes the bait very visible for the fish to pick out on the bottom. Well, I've been fishing the bomb for a couple of hours now, and I've had some brilliant sport, really enjoyed it. Let me talk to you about my approach. Now, as I said earlier, it's a fantastic way of catching fish, but what I've done is at the start, oh, look at that, nice barbel. Look at that, beautiful. At the start, I didn't feed any bait because I wanted to find out where the fish were. At this time of the year, the fish are gonna shoal up in a nice little area. So I've just cast it about a bit, and this is the beauty about this setup. Nice little plop on the surface, isn't gonna spook the fish in this area. And then once I've found the fish, I've then started catapulting some bait once I've kind of like located them. So that's it really, it's been a nice simple approach. I might have fed, I don't know, 20, 30 grains of corn every 20 minutes. 
and eventually the fish have started feeding. Let's just slip them in the net. So there you go, a really nice, simple and effective way of catching fish with one rod, a tin of corn. Great day's fishing.